yes good morning this is viru chemistry faculty from hyderabad right so today i am going to discuss about on volume strength of h2o2 volume strength of h2o2 yes volume strength of h2o2 it is one of the important concept yes sir it is also one of the important concept for a competitive examinations like mains neat and as well as advanced and today especially we need to discuss about on how to solve in examination especially in competitive examinations how to solve based on this h2o2 con uh, h2o2 problems and one more thing remind your mind volume strength is also one of the concentration term for the solutions right so in generally in examination papers 20 v of h2o2 15 v of h2o2 10 v of h2o2 these type of values are we are seeing generally in examinations so and one more thing in this case volume strength of h2o2 is always at a stp or ndp conditions once again volume strength of h2o2 concept or problems is always stp or ndp ndp conditions so volume strength of h2o2 is always stp or ndp conditions okay take one more one example 20 v h2o2 what is the meaning of 20 v h2o2 at stp or ndp anyone like similarly 15 v h2o2 so what is the meaning for that and 10 v h2o2 these type of especially these type of values are given in examinations yes or no so 20 v of h2o2 it is tp or ndp 15 v of h2o2 at ndp or stp 10 v of h2o2 at stp or ndp right so now i need to discuss about on 20 v of h2o2 what is the mean for 20 v of h2o2 20 v here v is nothing but volume strength sir here what is v in this case volume strength for h2o2 how much 20 volume strength of h2o2 so what is the meaning for that sir right in before you have to know one important concept h2o2 is decomposes yes sir no h2o2 is decomposes to form h2o and oxygen yes sir no oxygen the gas so finally what do you understand oxygen gas o2 gas is coming from h2o2 when h2o decomposes to form h2o is a liquid only here what is gas in this case half moles of i mean o2 oxygen is a gas so here what is the relation between 20 v of h2o2 and this one yes what relation is there what is the relation in this case what is the meaning of 20 v of h2o2 20 v of h2o2 it has to be means one liter so finally what is that h2o decomposes to decomposes to form oxygen gas right so one liter of 1 liter of H2O2 decomposes at STP or NDP. Yes, sir, at STP or NDP. 1 liter of H2O2 decomposes 20 liters. Suppose liters are milliliters, depends on problem, right? 1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NDP, 20 liters of oxygen will be released. This is the meaning for 20 V of H2O2. Right? Similarly, 15 V of H2O2 means same. 1 liter of H2O2, same conditions at STP or NDP to become, I mean to release how much? 15 V of H2O2. That means 15 liters of oxygen. Yes or no? So similarly, what is the meaning of 20 V of H2O2? 10 V of H2O2. So 10 V of H2O2 means same condition at STP or NDP, right? So 20, 10 V of H2O2 means 1 liter, yes or no? 1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NDP condition to releases how much? 10 liters of oxygen, yes or no? 10 liters of oxygen, right? So once again, 1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NDP to produce 20 liters of H2O2. This is the meaning for 20 V of H2O2. Similarly, what is the meaning for 15 V of H2O2? 1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NDP to produce 15 liters of oxygen. Similarly, what is the meaning of 20 V of H2O2? 1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NDP to produce 10 liters of oxygen. So finally, what do you understand in this case? The, all these conditions are at STP or NDP only. Of course, you can take milliliters or liter, depends on problem. Right, so this is the meaning for 20 V of H2O2, 15 V of H2O2, 10 V of H2O2. I hope you understand, yes or no? What is the meaning for that? 20 V of H2O2 means 1 liter of H2O2 to ST per NDP to form 20 liters of O2. Similarly, what is the meaning of 15 V of H2O2? 
1 liter of H2O2 at STP or NTP to release 15 liters of oxygen. So, this is the meaning for that. So, based on this condition, based on this concept, we need to we need to discuss one more concept. Same volume strength of H2O2. What are the one more concept in this case? Direct formulas. Yes or no? Direct formulas of molarity and normality for volume strength volume strength of H2O2 yes or no volume strength of H2O2 once again direct formulas of molarity and normality for volume strength of H2O2 what are the direct formulas in this case yes or no first one take molarity yes molarity is equal to volume strength by 11.2 this is the one of the direct formula for molarity of volume strength Similarly, what is the normality formula? Normality is equal to volume strength by 5.6. This is the one, one more formula for normality of volume strength of H2O2. Here we, what is this? Sir? Volume strength of H2O2. Volume strength of H2O2. So, molarity is equal to volume strength by volume strength of H2O2 by 11.2. Similarly, normality is equal to volume strength by 5.6. Yes or no? Right. So, then... Okay, take one one problem. How to solve molarity and normality, right? Calculate. Yes or no? Calculate the molarity. Yes or no? Molarity of 1.12 V of H2O2. Yes or no? Calculate the molarity of 1.12 V of H2O2. Yes or no? Yes. What is the molarity formula? Molarity is equal to volume strength by yes or no? Volume strength by 11.2. Yes, 11.2. So here what is volume strength in this case? 1.12. Substitute 1.12 by 11.2. So the value will be 0 0.1. Yes or no? So this is the molarity for 1.12 VF is 2 Right? And say calculate calculate the molarity now normality calculate the normality of 1.12 v of h2o2 yes or no calculate the normality of 1.12 v of h2o2 yes calculate the normality of 1.12 v of h2o2 now normality you so what that formula for normality volume strength by Yes, 5.6. This is the formula for normality of 1.12V. Here, what is volume strength, sir? Volume strength 1.12. Substitute 1.12 by 5.6. The answer will be 0 0.2. Yes or no? So, this is the way to find molarity and normality for respect to of given value of volume strength of H2O2. Here, what is the given value of volume strength, volume strength of H2O2? 1.1 T of H2O2. That's why you have substitute direct formula for molarity and normality. Now, you will get answers. So, this is the way to, to find and molarity and normality. Next, one more problem. So, now, density. Because here, density by volume, <coughs> yes. 10 V of H2O2 yes or no? 10 V of H2O2 will have density. So this is the problem, right? 10 V of H2O2 will have density. Yes or no? 10 V of H2O2 will have density. So how can you find density based on this 10 V of H2O2? Yes, of course. So we know the formula for molarity. Molarity is equal to what is the formula, sir? Number of moles of solute dissolved in volume in liters. Yes or no? Number of moles of solute dissolved in volume in liters. Of course, we know that what is number of moles? Weight by gram molecular weight. Substitute the base of number of moles. So then molarity is equal to what is number of moles, sir? Weight by gram molecular weight. That's why weight by gram molecular weight into 1 by V in liters. Yes or no? So, of course, I want to change like this. Molarity is equal to weight by, write down here V, volume in liters. 
and into 1 by gram molecular weight. We know that weight by V, given weight by volume, nothing but density. That's why change the formula. So then molarity is equal to density into 1 by gram molecular weight. So according to problem, we need to find density only. That's why density keep here. Density is equal to molarity into gram molecular weight. So density is equal to, what is the molarity formula? We know the direct formula. V by 11 point, so 2 into gram molecular weight. So that, yes or no, right. So what is the value, sir? Density is equal to. V how much sir 10? According to the problem, what is V sir? In this case, volume sir. How much sir? 10. That's a 10 by 11.2. So into gram and weight, gram molecular weight of H2O2, how much sir? 34 because oxygen is 32 and hydrogen is 2. So the total 34. Now 10 into 34, 340 by 11.2. Now you will get 30.3. So what are the units? Gram per liters. Yes sir, what are the units sir? Gram per liters. So this is the important concept for, this is the way to, to find um, density for volume strength of H2O2. So, so this is the, the, the volume strength of H2O2, it is one of the important concept. Yes sir, no. That's why I hope you understand all of you how to find volume strength for molarity, normality and density. Yes, thank you.